Uh, my name is Ming Liu and I'm from Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. I'm an IEEE senior member and with the ROS uh, Society. Our lab is a robotics and multi-perception lab. I mainly work on uh, mobile robots and also robotic learning, uh, especially with some efforts in autonomous driving and healthcare robots. Uh, for healthcare robots, actually, we think it's a very important way to bring elderly people or people with uh, incapabilities uh, into normal life. Our robot is a multi-terrain robot. Uh, it has the capability to uh, percept in a complex environment. It equips with multiple sensors, including LiDAR, uh, camera, and uh, also IMU and GPS. The learning of this uh, special type of robot is uh, to learn how to navigate. We have the technique so-called mapping, so that when the robot moves around, it will create a 3D representation of the environment. And then the robot will analyze this uh, map so that it knows where will be the difficult part and then how to uh, transform itself so that it can automatically uh, move from point A to point B. The robot is designed as, uh, generally as a normal wheelchair, so the adaptation uh, to, uh, to use this wheelchair will be quite uh, handy and very easy to, to go. We have a joystick on the right side so that you can use the joystick to, uh, to control this uh, robot to move around. On the other side of the robot we have a, a tablet, so on the tablet you can see um, the current uh, configuration of the uh, wheelchair. Uh, I think healthcare robots will be uh, widely used in the next five to ten years. Um, there's still some challenges we need to overcome. For example, the society needs to accept the healthcare robot and uh, the society needs to be educated that uh, humans can coexist uh, with the robotic system and they are safe to use. As a IEEE senior member, uh, I believe IEEE is now uh, promoting um, the development of all aspects of robotics and the healthcare robots is one of the uh, trends that uh, uh, we can put more effort on. Uh, and I believe the, the future is also bright.